A level biology 9700 paper 4 variant 2 may june 2024 question number 1 and 2 and question number 1 is osmoregulation is the control of the water tension of body fluid such as blood osmo receptors and anti diuretic hormones adh have an important role in osmoregulation, namely the location of the osmoreceptor cells. The osmoreceptor cells are present in the hypothalamus, which is part of the forebrain. So we, I, we are going to write hypothalamus over here. It is the part of the forebrain. Create the stimulus that is detected by the osmoreceptors. So it will be the change in water tension. Hypothalamus is also called as thrust center. So change in water tension and we are talking about blood in this question. So we will be Name the structures that secretes ADH into the blood. So ADH is antidiuretic hormone is secreted by pituitary glands. Pituitary glands, which are the master glands of the body, so they secrete the ADH into the blood. So ADH. X on the cells of the collecting duct resulting in changes in the volume and concentration of urine. Figure 1.1 shows the relationship between the concentration of ADH in the blood and the rate of production of urine by the kidneys. And here you can see the graph. <clears throat> and this graph shows uh, on x-axis the concentration of ADH in the blood and on y-axis, the rate of production of urine. Now the question is, as the concentration of ADH in the blood increases, the rate of production of urine decreases. Uh, so this is the relationship between ADH and the urine production. Uh, calculate the percentage decrease in the rate of production of urine between ADH concentrations of one and three arbitrary units. Show you are working, give your answer to one decimal place. So we will move towards the graph and we will find the values between one and three. And you can see over here, the value at one is so this is at one. value at 1 and at 3 the value is so at 3 the value is 5 at 3 and at 1 it is 13 so 10 11 12 and 13 so it is 12 and 30 now we will use these values in the question to find out the percentage decrease. So show you are working, give your answer to one decimal place, one and three. We have to find out between concentrations of between and three. So here you can see the initial value at one is it was 13. And the final value at 3, it was 5 divided by 13 into 100. So with this, we will uh, calculate the value in this way. 13 minus 5 is equal to 8 divided by 13. It is 0 point multiplied by 100. So the value is 
61.5%. So you can find out the value. This is the initial value at 1 and this is the final value at 3. So divided by the initial value, multiplied by 100 to find out the percentage decrease. So the answer is 61.5%. Now explain the relationship in the table, which we have discussed. Uh, and, and you have seen that what happened when there is an increase in the production of ADH. When there is an increase in the production of ADH, at that time, what happens? There is decrease in the urine production. Increase in ADH secretion decrease this the production of urine. Because most of the water will be absorbed And in other words, if there is decrease in the ADH, so what will happen? Most of the water will be released. Most of the water will leave the collecting duct and it will be excreted out of the body. So in this way, most of the water will be absorbed and the volume of the volume of the urine is, in, is decreased. and its concentration will increase. Means thick urine. The next question is variations exist in populations of species and this may provide the opportunity for evolution to occur. Phenotypic variations exist in many forms and has a number of possible causes. Describe the main factors that are, that are the cause of phenotypic variation. So uh, cause of phenotypic variations can be um, actually many. Uh, so, in this way, we can say that these variations can be as a effect of different genes. So, due to, uh, you can say that if there are uh, different alleles of the genes, so due to mutation, due to crossing over or independent assortment, so they can be the examples. In other case, when there are the environmental changes, then the variation can also originate due to the disease or due to the food availability, the number of uh, species can be increased or decreased or the variations can be more or less. So other, in, uh, other example we can give in the form of, you can say, if the uh, combination or interaction of the different genes with the environment. So in that case, there can be the gene action can be modified as a result of environmental changes. So I would like to write, first of all, uh, the environmental factors or some the genetic factors which can cause the phenotypic variations. Genetic factors can be the mutations. Mutations, crossing over. And the environmental factors
can be the diseases, food resources, pH, etc. And there can be the interaction of genes. With the environment. So the example gene expression can be modified due to the environmental change. So, we will move towards the question number B. So, outline the theory of evolution. The question is the outline the theory of the um, evolution. Students, you know, the Darwin proposed that species can change over the time. That new species come from pre existing species and that all species share a common ancestor. So you can say in this way, each species has its own unique set of heritable differences from the common ancestor, uh, which have accumulated gradually over very long periods. So evolution is the change with the passage of time, which can be uh, resulted by different means. So I would like to write few points about this. Uh, theory of evolution that is the new species new species are originated from pre existing species so you can say the Genetically, they modify due to the environmental changes. So these changes in the characteristics create many phenotypes. And pass on to the next generations. And natural selection, nature also select the new pieces so in this way the answer which I had told you can be written in very short form. Now the theory of evolution is supported by DNA sequence data. Explain how DNA sequences are used to show evolutionary relationship between species. So here I would like to say that DNA sequences are used to construct uh, phylogenetic trees which depict the evolutionary relationship among different species. So by comparing the genetic differences and similarities, scientists can arrange species on the branches of the tree indicating their degree of uh, relate, uh, relatedness. So in this way, I would like to say if we compare the DNA sequence, then we can find out the differences and the similarities among them. 
So I would like to write all this in the form of short points. Sequences of DNA to find out the similarities and differences among them and we can find out DNA also, you know, DNA sequence also changed due to the, uh, you can say, the mutation. So sometimes you can say the mutation uh, also the cause of these, uh, the change in the DNA sequence. So due to the change in D DNA sequence, we can also compare the uh, differences in them. We can uh, find out the similarities between them. So in this way, uh, the we can find out uh, which DNA sequence is the uh, have relationship among them or between them or these different species, how do they uh, relate with one another? And then we can uh, take the help of bioinformatics. To find out. So it was all about question number one and two. Please like, share and subscribe my channel to watch more videos about your syllabus and past papers as well. Thanks for watching.